Hello and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we want to take a look at a quick overview for the back end uh, of Joomla here. So this is version 3.9. Uh, version 4.0 is going to be released in a few months at the start of 2020. So once you log in the back end here, this is just, you know, the tabs, systems, users. Now, I'm not going to go over all the details here uh, because it's really to focus on just the Helix Ultimate. Uh, but these is pretty much everything that you need to control your website. So this is considered the back end. Joomla has a front end that is what is visible to the public and has a back end that is only should be accessible only to the site owner and the admin. So the system, you have help. You can go through the menus here if there's something that you wanted to get information about. You have extensions, which we're going to cover in just a second. And then you have the menus. This are the menus that's part of your existing site. But at the moment, you really can't see anything right now in terms of what the site actually looks like. So all the work that's been done here uh, is going to show up on the front end. So to access the front end of the Joomla site, you want to click at the very top corner here where it says the name, whatever name that you chose, you click on it. So now you see we have identical copy with what is on Joomla Shapers website because it has everything on there. So this is the front end of your website and the front end. This is what the general public sees. You can do a lot of stuff and in this course at the end of this course. You're going to understand how to change every single thing on this template to customize exactly how you want it to be. So this is the front end. You kind of, you know, just do a little bit of click through to make sure everything or you can even compare it to the actual uh, the original template that you got from there. Uh, so that's pretty much the front end part of it. Now, one thing I want to say here, when you click on, let's say, the about us or the about page. When you go up to the very top of the URL, you notice that you have the name dot com slash the folder index dot PHP. We need to remove this index dot PHP because that is not really search engine friendly. So you need to make sure that you don't have this index dot PHP as part of your domain. If you click around, let's click somewhere else. We're in a different page now and you're going to notice that you still have this index.php on there. So let's change that. Now to do so, you want to go back to your uh, control panel. You want to go back and locate the folder or if it's in your primary domain, wherever you install this particular uh, template. And you want to be able to find where it says htaccess.txt. Right click, rename. And you want to just delete everything and just leave the dot ht access and you click on rename. So once you've done that now, you want to go back to your Joomla site to the admin part and you want to go over to system global configuration and you want to change where it says use URL rewriting. You want to set this to yes uh, for this other parts. Don't worry about these for now and you click save and close. And then you get this message configuration saved. You want to go back to the front end again and notice that we'll still have this index.php as part of the domain, which is not really search engine friendly. So to do so, I'm just going to click back on the home page. Now that I've gone back to the home page, I'm going to click on another page again so you can see. So now when you go up to the domain name, you don't have the index.php as part of it. So now it's removed that. So what we did was we did a URL real writing and that took care of that part of it. 